Hi, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lab on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're going to see how we can write character to a file. And also we can see how we can use fputc function to write character to the file. So before beginning, I want to uh, explain something about this fopen function. So here uh, in the place of this file name, you can pass this path also. So but make sure that that path should exist. If the path is not existing, then this f open function is gonna return the null character so that you know you will get unable to um, create or open the file. So now we're gonna begin with our f put c function. Uh, we're gonna see how we can uh, write a character to a file. This f put c is gonna print or write the character to the file. So as a parameter to this f put c function, we have to first uh, specify the character that we want to write then now we have to pass the file pointer these are the two parameters required for this f4c function so now let's see how we can uh, use this f4c function and write to the file so here in this tutorial we're gonna first create some characters and we're gonna store it in a character array for that purpose we are using a character array let's call it data let me declare the size 25 and we're gonna assign it with the mm, learning lad so this is it now you know this data array contains learning lad this data array zeroth position conti contains the character l and the uh, first position contains the character e and second position contains the character a similarly you know each position contains each character so we're gonna write each character to the file so next thing is we are using a for loop to loop through this uh, character or this data array for that purpose we need to know the length of this uh, data array we can get the length of the character array or a string by using str len function or the string length function so we're gonna declare a variable let's call it length and i'm gonna assign it string length of or the character array is going to be data so now this length variable contains the length of the string learning lad so by using this length we can uh, use a for loop to uh, loop over this character array so the last thing we need is a counter variable for the for loop it's going to be counter that's it now we're going to open a file called anil.txt in the write mode that's because we want to write something to the file and also you know that file will be em will be an empty file so this f pointer is the pointer returned by this f open function if, if it can open this file anil.txt so we are here we are checking whether that uh, you know file opened successfully or not if that file not opened successfully then we are printing unable to create or open the file else if that file has opened successfully then we want to write some characters to the file so for that purpose we're going to use for loop here in the else part then first we need to initialize our for loop it's going to be counter equal to zero then uh, we need to write the test condition counter is less than length then we need to increment our counter variable it's going to be counter plus plus so here within this for loop we want to write to the file character by character so we can use this f put c function next we have to specify the character we are writing that character is present in the data array at the position specifying the counter variable here so when this counter becomes zero we are writing the character l when this counter becomes one we are writing the character e when this counter becomes two we are writing the character a similarly we are writing all the characters until you know we encounter this D or the last character so next we have to pass the file pointer so the file pointer is this one F pointer I'm gonna copy this and uh, paste it here so just for you know our information uh, purpose we are gonna add a printf statement here actually this printf statement has nothing to do with you know our um, writing to this file so we're gonna say writing the character percentage c then add a new line 
then we have to specify which character we are writing right now it's going to be present in the data array and the counter so here by using this for loop we are looping through this character array or this string l e a r n i n g then a space then l a d so we are writing each character at a time here by using this fc function so i'm going to save it compile it and run it so as you can see here writing the character l then e a r n i n g then the space that's because we have a space here then l a d that's it it has successfully written all this contents to the file then it says data return to the file successfully open up this anil.txt which is the file we have written right now so as you can see here learning lag so i'm going to close it and close this one also now we're going to change this string let's say anil shetty rocks and i'm going to save it compile it again and run it so as you can see here anil then a space then s h e t t y shetty then a space then rocks and it says data return to the file successfully let's see whether it has written successfully or not i'm going to open up uh, anil.txt as you can see here anil shetty rocks and the previous content learning lad has been deleted you know that's because we are opening this file using the mode w so now we're going to make this mode as a that means we are opening this anil.txt in appending mode so whatever we write now to that file that will be appended to that file so we're going to say okay the same thing anil shetty rocks save it and compile it and run it so it says uh, the data written to the file successfully we're going to close it and i'm going to open up anil.txt so as you can see here anil shetty rocks which is from our previous run and now it has anil shetty rocks because we are using this mode as a you know our contents are concatenated to the contents of the file so this is it this is about f put c function or how we can write uh, characters to a file in c so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe i see you in the next tutorial